Hey, good morning guys. Welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. In my last video of WFVU, I was showing how to get it set up. And what I'm going to do in this video is show you uh, how to get AC Log and WFVU working together. Um, I, uh, I think I went through a virtual serial port emulator in that first video. And I do have a video out on uh, getting this set up and installed. One thing that I wanted to point out though for it to work with AC Log, uh, for WFU to work with AC Log and to work the way that I want it, I want to be able to send CW and I want the two programs to be able to control the radio. Uh, what, I, what I discovered is in uh, VSPE, I'm going to go into uh, the properties. I need to have redirect modem registers selected and that's got to be uh, ticked off uh, of course over here under settings the speed is 115.2 uh, no on DTR RTS and I think all, the, all of this is the default but uh, that needs to be checked off and none of these checked off here so I'm going to go ahead and start this and it, it started. I am splitting COM5 into COM1, and I'll uh, explain later why I do this. But uh, I can go ahead and bring up WFU, and uh, let's see. Yeah, it starts up right away on uh, on 40 meters, and let's uh, bring up the volume. Okay, I guess that gentleman left. Let's switch there. Okay, so I got control uh, with WF view, and uh, next is AC log, and I'll show you under device manager. I'm using a CIV cable for AC log, and uh, I've got a prolific cable. There's another one called an FTDI, and I think either one works equally well. Uh, the prolific cable is a little bit less expensive. So I'm using it, that's COM4, and the maximum baud rate for that is 19.2, and that's okay with AC log. So I'll go ahead and bring it up. And it brings up the frequency that I'm on, it's on sideband, and I've got my CW macros uh, pulled up here. So let's go over to settings, and then rig interface. And I've um, got ICOM selected, COM4, that's that uh, prolific cable, the CIV cable. And 19.2 uh, is the baud rate, uh, parity uh, none, uh, data bits 8, stop bits 1, and of course you can go through this and have a closer look. I've got screen captures, or I will have screen captures on my website. I'm going to put out another article um, on WF View and AC Log. Um, just bringing up the frequency and uh, sideband is the mode. I'm going to hit done there. Now I've got uh, my frequency change. If you hit control F, you'll bring up this little screen here, frequency change. And uh, let's see, I'm on 40 meters right now. I can go over to 20 and it changes over to 20 meters and there's not much anybody on uh, there on 20 I'm going to bring up a WF view and uh, hit tune see if that uh, helps it okay still not uh, not many people on uh, on 20 right now uh, yeah no I don't know uh, 14175. Thought that I'd hear somebody in there. Let's bring up the volume. Okay. I'm using my mouse wheel to move the line up and down. I uh, hear a light one in there. But anyway, uh, you can use uh, WFU to control the radio uh, volume, and I, and I use this uh, 
I've been using it more. I've been testing this out for, uh, well, a couple of weeks, and I, I found some uh, uh, some tedious spots in it that I, there's problems that I had, and I think I've worked them all out. Uh, and one of them had to do with uh, VSPE, that uh, one setting that I showed you. So if I uh, if I go to uh, let's see uh, okay let me go over to the CW frequency and I'm just going to put in a frequency here and that's not right and I'll put it on CW there's one. Looks like a test is still going on, a contest. So let me show you how I have CW set up for transmitting. And if you go to transmit and then CW setup, brings up this window and I'm using COM1. That's uh, with VSPE. I'm splitting COM5 into COM1 so I can use it with WF View and uh, CW King in AC Log. So if you have your radio set up like mine, you'll use DTR. And then I use a timer setting here. And I've got some macros programmed in. I can uh, just hit test. That contest is still going on. And that's how I get CW King. So I'm able to use this and my keyboard here. And also I'm able to use the paddle that I have connected on the back of the radio. So the best of both worlds. So if I was going to be operating CW with let me get off frequency there. And I'm going to turn my power down. I don't have a dummy load on here. First I want to go back and hit tune again. So if I want to operate CW with N3FJP, I've got my keyer, my paddle hooked up to the back of the radio so I can send that way. And I can also send with the macros, or I can bring up uh, uh, the CW keyboard buffer and put something in. And that works, and that's... Uh, the whole reason for me uh, testing all this out is to make sure that I can get the modes working that I want. And of course I have uh, rig control working on uh, N3FJP's AC log and I uh, have rig control working with uh, WF view and I tend to use this more and more. Now if I had two screens, I only have, well I do have two screens, you can't see it, but I have a, a TV that I use as a second monitor. What I do is put WF view up on it, and yeah, WF view up on it, and then uh, I use uh, AC log uh, on my laptop. I bring, I'll bring it up, and I don't always have this pulled up. Uh, don't always have that, that uh, pulled up either, the CW macros pulled up either. So anyway, I can go back and forth between these programs uh, pretty, pretty, it's pretty slick, it, it works good. And uh, you do have to have uh, unlinked from remote turned on in your radio, and I've got the screen captures on my website under the ICOM 7300 screen captures. And uh, so yeah, unlinked from remote needs to be turned on. Uh, I put the baud rates in in that in there. Uh, you can set auto, but I go ahead and I put the baud rate that I want. The 192 is the highest uh, for CIV, and then 115.2 uh, is for the USB cable. So I, I go ahead and enter those in, and uh, this has been working really well uh, for me. Uh, I'll bring up uh, let's see uh, WFJ uh, WSJTX. I can bring it up. And uh, it uh, it has rig control too, 
Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, let's go over to a, a frequency. I've been on 30 meters a lot and you can see it changes frequency. Uh, let's go over to WF view and that yeah, changes frequency on there. It's reading it and then of course uh, AC log uh, right frequency has sideband in there but when I log a contact it uh, puts it in as FT8 and I've also been using uh, FL Digi uh, and I'll show you those setups in another video this is getting to be a little bit long try to keep them about 10 minutes so I uh, hope that you find this useful uh, AC log and WF view working together and uh, the, the trick is to have a CIV cable and to use VSPE uh, I'm using it, and I, there's a reason for my madness here. Uh, I'll show you later, but uh, I do use VSPE, and uh, it, it seems to be working really well. I uh, can't think of anything else, so if you have any questions or comments, please make them below, and I appreciate uh, all the comments. Uh, please, if you find this useful, make a comment. And uh, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll be notified when I put out new videos. The next one on WFU will be using uh, WSJTX uh, with it. So I've already given you a little preview of that. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And also tell your friends, 73 and good DX.